It's the Sports Zone Unfiltered, brought to you by HEB. Welcome back to the Cube Sports Zone Unfiltered. Well, he's a former Houston Texan and a Houston native. Joining us now is fullback Moran Norris. Moran, thank you for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, I am sure as you were a Texan and you are a Houston native, people ask you all the time, <laughs> who are the Texans going to draft number one <laughs> overall? Do you get that question a lot? All the time. All the time. What do you say? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, but uh, you know, I give my input of things, uh, but I, I, you know, I really don't know. Well, I'd like to get your input on things because yeah. okay. I, I, Brooke and I are both in the same boat. We, we really think. I mean, I, I think the biggest problem this team has had, that the prevailing issue has been quarterback. We've had good players on defense. The defense was, you, you know, when you were here, the defense was always pretty good. Right. We we had Matt Schaub, you know, kind of take us to a certain level, but then crumble, you know, or not have the season that he wanted. So quarterback to me is, is the prevailing thing. Are you with that or do you think, you know what, let's go clowny? I mean, I, I'm just curious. Well, you know, I'm an offensive guy, so, but I think offense win games, defense win Super Bowls. Right. So. So which know. way? So so me saying that, yeah. I go clowny. Really? really? Yeah. Over, Even though you were a fullback. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would. I mean, you know, I would go clowny. And, he's and a beast. I mean, he's reason? a... You don't see too many guys like him. He's a freak. Mm -hmm. the, the last guy was Javon Kurtz, and he, they called him the freak. Yeah, they did, and athletically. Yeah, he played like 12, 13 years, and he's, you know, he's a phenomenal player. So I think Clowney, he's that guy that you, you don't see that often. He's rare. Mm -hmm. But as an offensive guy, don't you feel like quarterbacks win games? No, no, no. In, quarterback. In every, this is a quarterback-driven league, and the Texans have to have well, that Well, quarterback quarterback? win games, but I know me playing offense, me being a fullback, like what a defensive player on right. the other side with the brains, you know, mm -hmm. you got to account for the guy. You got to double team. You got to chip out as a running back when you get out no, the backfield. I get it, man. I'm, I mean, that, that's the argument that the whole city is having, and I'm sure you get asked about yeah. it a lot. But are you ready to go to war with Ryan Fitzpatrick as your quarterback? Well, you know, they got a quarterback with LSU. Yeah. He'd still be on the board. Matt Murder. Matt Murder. Yeah, and I think the test they had the 33rd pick. pick. You like him. So that'd be the first pick in the second round. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he'll still be on the list. If, you know, if you so you're thinking develop somebody? I'll go to Clowney first and then let the chips fall. Let's, let's say I told you they, I, I, I heard they are definitely drafting a quarterback. Okay. Take Clowney. Who, what do you you like? yeah, who do you like yeah. and, and wh why? I don't know. Is he out of Bridgewater? Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, um, you're not a Manziel Central, fan? Central. No, I mean. Uh, Bortles, you're talking about. Yeah, Bortles. I don't think, you know, all that. Acrobat stuff is going to work in there. <laughs> you know, because, yeah. you know, you got guys like Clowney and you got J.J. Watts guys, Brian Cushing coming off the edge and, you know, hit you in your right. mouth. So I don't think, you know, I don't think that's going to work. That's in fair. NFL. All right. <laughs> well, of course, we are coming up against Rick. But before we do let you go, we do want to talk about your foundation because you're doing some really amazing things with mm -hmm. kids in the third and the fifth ward. Um, and you have a really cool shopping event coming up. So talk to us some about your foundation and, and tell us about the events you have on tap. Well, we have a deal. We do it like Mother's Day weekend and Friday. We have Shopping for Good Character where we take four different schools. We take 25 kids from each school. Um, it's not always guaranteed to the kids that's making honor students, straight A students, mm -hmm. but it's to the kids that's good like... Good character. Yeah, good character. Um, you said showing progress, too. Showing progress. So we, we, we practice ACE, uh, academic character in education. So we take them shopping. We have chaperones there. We do it at Targets. That's one deal we do. And then we have the Moran Norris Scholarship. Mm -hmm. uh, we also give away uh, iPads. We used to give away laptops, but we give away iPads. Uh, then we have a gala dinner. We have a football camp. And this year at the gala dinner at Hotel Zaza on June the 28th, it'd be Marshall Falk. So wow, it'd be yeah. terrific. Really cool. So it'd be a good thing. And, um, you know, we got a website, the MoranNorrisFoundation.org. Um, you can get more information. Well, congratulations, because a lot of players have their foundations during their playing career. It takes a special guy to, to keep it going even after you're through because it is that important to you. Thanks yeah. a lot, oh, man. Thanks yeah. a lot. All right. Really All right. cool thing that you're doing, and we will be covering your shopping for good character. Oh, cool, so, so, cool. so we'll be out there, Miranda. We'll Thanks. get some video. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for joining us. Well, do you guys want to see John Lopez sweat? M maybe not. <laughs> but our next guest who's coming up, I think he will be sweating after he sees her. It's cheerleader, Houston Texans cheerleader, Caitlin, that's coming up after this break.